hey y'all welcome to my channel it's your girl Denisha Michelle back with another video so the title of this word is going to be trials and temptations and perseverance that produces faith it's a good one so i'm gonna pray and then i'm gonna get into this word y'all and before i pray i'm on tiktok so if i'm looking over here um i'm on tiktok live y'all know how i do so father god in the name of jesus i just invite your presence in this live in this video right now god i pray that it be all of you and none to me god we know when two or more gather in your name that you are sure to be in the middle so i pray that no evil will fall this live i pray that no evil um come in between this word i pray that you flow through me and flow out of me let this word not fall on deaf ears let this be a blessing to your people and um i just give you the most high praise oh lord because you're so great and you're so sovereign and you're worthy to be praised so in jesus mighty mighty name we pray amen so we in the book of james in a new international version i also have the king james version but i'm not going to touch bases on that one right now um until the end because this word is based off the new international version so we in chapter one we're gonna be starting at verse three well verse two consider it pure joy my brothers and sisters whenever you face trials of many kind because you know that the testing of your faith produces perseverance let perseverance finish your work finish its work so that you may be mature and complete not lacking anything if any of you lacks wisdom you should ask god who gives gen generously to all without finding fault and it will be given unto you but when you ask you must believe and not doubt because the ones who doubt is like a wave of the sea blown and tossed by the wind that person should not expect to receive anything from the lord such a person is double-minded and unsustainable in all they do believers in humble circumstances ought to take pride in their high position so i did a word on this um that ties into this one i'm gonna link it down below because i'm not sure which one it was but basically what god is telling us that we going to go through trials and tribulations in life but it's up to us to have the faith and keep trusting god that he's going to do what he promised us and that if you doubt in any way in any circumstances we will be counted as double-minded because we're praying and asking god for this to come to pass yet in our mind we are doubting that he will be able to do as such so the walk of faith that pleases god we have to please god in all that we do because god appointed us as a prophet he's appointed us for his kingdom his kingdom is so big and sometimes we just got to realize how important we are and how much power we have knowing that god has chosen us to represent his kingdom to represent everything that he represents and faith is trusting without sin trusting without sin sometimes god lets you go through stuff because that's the only time that you would spend with him sometimes god will just allow this situation to just be unbearable because he knows that that's the only time when you would get on your knees and you would fall flat on your face and pray to god because you need him and it's kind of sad because the only time where some of our believers in christ only come to God and fall on a face in front of Jesus is when we're going through something when we need him when we need him the most and faith produces perseverance and perseverance is persistence in doing something despite difficulty or delay in achieving success God gives freely but we must we must have to redirect our faith we have to redirect our faith in knowing that he will do exceedingly abundantly above all that we can ask of him. Knowing that whatever we pray for, whatever that we ask, if our motives in a hard place, God will give it to us. But we just can't sit up here and just blame God for our 
fault. You can't blame God for your own choices. When you expecting him to do what you are praying for him to do. Your heart has to be in the right posture. Because if your heart is not in the right posture, how can God bless you? We must believe and not doubt for a second, regardless of what it looks like. Regardless if you have no friends, you have to realize that God will bring you friends. God will bring you the money. God will supply that supply that need. You need your bills paid, God will pay that bill. But we cannot doubt him for a second. We got to humble ourselves in a high position. We got to stay above water when we're drowning. When we're going through that situation, when we're going through whatever we're going through, we got to remember that God would not allow you to drown. When Peter saw Jesus walking on water, when Jesus went on the mountain to look over his people, Jesus walked on water to go get Peter. And Peter was like, Jesus, if this be you, let me come to you. Jesus said, come. Peter walked on water. He walked on water. And yet the slightest bit of wind blew and he got shook. He was scared like many of us. When we believe in God, we get scared. We get fearful that he won't be able to help us. When soon as, like it was so quick, as soon as Peter was drowning, the Lord stretched forth his hand and led him up. And he said, do you not have faith in me? Do you not trust me to deliver you out of this situation? We can't get caught up in in our situation. Like the situation is big, but God is bigger. There's a lot of demons, but there's more angels. You are God's child. We got to learn to sacrifice and offer up things to God so he could show his blessing and show his love. And for one, just knowing that our heart is in the right posture, he will bless you. Obedience is your best friend. Obedience is your best friend. We got to learn to be obedient. One thing about God is how you treat God is how you treat everything. How you come to God is how you come about everything. And like I was just saying, don't put the blame on God because every good thing, every good perfect gift comes from God. We tend to put the blame on God, but never the devil or what happens. Um, We never put the blame on the devil or us when trials happen, when we go through temptation, when we go through things that's hurting us. We got to realize that the devil don't want none of these people, none of us, nobody in the body of Christ to succeed. He don't want us to be prosperous because he is a jealous and envy. Um old angel he was a he's a fallen angel and we know in the king james version y'all chapter 1 verse 12 it says blessed is the man that endured temptation for when he is tried he shall receive the crown of life which the lord has promised to them that love him God would never put us in a situation where it's unbearable. God would never put us in a situation where we are not able to to say no to this, to say no to this um, smoking weed, to say no to having sex, to say no to listening to this certain music, to say no to going out. God will put us in situations where we can say no, but it's a choice. You are you are going to forever have a test in God. God is going to forever test you. He's going to forever prune you. Because it's, it's, a, it's levels to this. It's levels to this. Every pastor and every apostle, I uh, I bet you that one one day they was in sin. And they had to let their sin go for God, for that, gla- for that greater glory. So, for God cannot be tempted by evil 
nor does he tempt anyone. But each person is tempted when they are dragged away by their own evil desires and enticed. Then after desire has conceived, it gives birth to sin. And sin, when it's full grown, gives birth to death. So much sin can cause death. Like, you're too far gone. Like, y'all ever heard a, a statement where it says that they stuck in their ways? That's the same thing. You're too far gone. They they never going to change their ways because they're too far gone. They're too far stuck in their own ways because they um sin is too great. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against rulers of darkness of the world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. Our, this battle is not our own. Some of the people that we're dealing with is not even be, be people. It be the spirits that's trying to take us down. That's why we got to be belligerent, be sober, because your adversary, the devil, as a roaring lion, walks about of who he can devour. We have to pay attention, and we got to keep our eyes fixed on God, even in the trials, even in the midst, even when it feels uncomfortable. Because we are Christ- we are bodies of Christ. Even when it feels uncomfortable, you got to keep going. Even when, even when you don't feel like reading your Bible, keep going, because it's not you, it's the Spirit on you. But you got to tell Satan, not today yet. This is my year. This is my month. You had enough of me. You should let me go in the name of Jesus. Because whatever you bind on earth is bind in heaven. Whatever you loose in heaven is loose on earth. Don't give the devil no more power than he already has. You got to speak life into yourself because we are chosen trophies of God's kingdom. Like I was just thinking today, I was talking to God. And I'm like, God, you so good. You so rich. And don't love God because of what he can do, but love God for what he's already done, for, for how much he loves you. God is God is the richest person in the whole everything. Like he owns everything. For two, he made everything. For three, he loves us more than we can even imagine, even fathom. And we have we have a, a piece to that. We have the we have a right to that. That's why we go through so much trials and temptations so one day we can look back and just say thank God. And when we come across people who's going through the same thing, we'll be able to help them out. We will know that we let that go and we picked up our cross and we walked with God. Because everything is not, everything is not um just wake up and do it. Everything is not, I mean, I'm not wake up and do it. Everything is a process. You don't just wake up and be a mighty pastor. You wake up every day and you try and you push and God will pull. Be quick to listen and slow to speak. Be quick to listen and slow to speak. And slow to anger. Because human anger does not produce the righteousness that God desires. Therefore, get rid of moral filth and the evil that is so prevalent and humbly accept the word planted in you which can save you god's word can save us we cannot be bound to anger don't let anger don't let anger get the best of you don't let anger consume you because that's not who we are in in, in christ and that's why i love the word humble because we have to humble ourselves before god we got to humble ourselves before men Jesus was spit on. He was literally spit on. They literally tried to kill him. And the same, that's why I always tell y'all, um, the walk is never going to be easy because Jesus' walk was never easy. But God, our Lord, that's higher than anybody, will be with us. Meshach, Shirek, and Abednego was in the fire and nothing touched them. Read Daniel, read Daniel chapter read the whole Daniel the book of the whole book of Daniel but chapter 1 and chapter 10 read that read that I promise it'll change your life we need to work on our patience because patience helps you wait on the good things it takes nine months it takes nine months to form us in our in our mother's womb it took God seven days to form the earth and the heaven it take you 12 years to graduate high school 
it take you four to eight years to graduate college, two to, two to eight years to graduate college, to graduate university. Be patient, and God will give you tests to practice patience. God will give you tests to practice your temptations. God will give you tests to practice your love for people. God will give you practice to to um give you a test to practice preaching. God will give you a test to practice whatever that you need to say to, to anybody that needs to hear. To anybody that needs to hear, period. Humbly accept the word which can save us. Don't be so quick to judge. Don't be so quick to quote a scripture. Be kind-hearted and understanding of one's hurt. You should never push somebody away from Christ. And it says, do not merely listen to the word and so, and so deceive yourself. Do what it says. Do what God says. And if anyone who listens to the word but does not do what it says, it's like someone who looks in the face of his mirror and after looking at himself goes away and immediately forget what he looks like. But whoever looks intently, internally, into the perfect law that gives freedom and continues it, not forgetting what they have heard, but doing it. They will be blessed in what they do. God will bless you for being obedient to his word, to his calling. Don't don't let the devil forsake y'all. Be obedient to God. Someone who can give you everything that you're looking for and more. If you just deny your flesh. Those who consider them this those who consider themselves religious and yet do not keep a tight rein on their tongues deceive themselves. It's power in the tongue, y'all, and their religion is worthless. Religion that God our Father accepts as pure and faultfulness is this, to look after orphans and widows in their distress and to keep ones from being polluted by the world. You got to preach the gospel of God. Don't pollute yourself by envy and jealousy and don't be so quick to judge do not the same amount that you're pushing somebody away by quoting scriptures is, is what you're doing to yourself you pushing yourself farther away from god's kingdom and that's why i tell you guys to not look at it in a religion aspect look at who do you serve who do you worship and who do you idolize what is your main goal our main goal as the body of christ is jesus our lord and savior and we are to save souls and we are to bring people close to his kingdom and to be obedient and be lawful to understand that we should not be doing certain things that we should not be gossiping talking about people's sex um alcohol weed anything that you know is not good don't do it period because god is love and he's the way he's the truth so don't be afraid to spread his word and spread his life um do not be defiled or polluted by the world come as you are gay straight pink purple blue whatever that you, whatever that you like whatever that you got yourself involved in come as you are god already knows it everything that you do god sees it and he knows it why hide from him when he knows exactly what you're doing come as you are and don't be so quick to judge somebody for coming as they are and i I wrote down come as you are gay and all alcoholic and all drug addiction high jealous a gossiper a liar dis disability anxiety depressed hold nothing hold nothing back because god already knows he already knows jeremiah 1 5 before i formed you i knew you before you were born i set you apart and i appointed you as a prophet of many nations god is so good y'all and his word is good everything is a process don't deceive yourself. don't let the devil deceive you and don't deceive yourself one thing God will do and one thing that he will forever do is love his children. So I love y'all. This word was amazing and I pray that it blessed y'all. Again, make sure y'all like, comment, and subscribe. And if y'all have any questions, comments, or concerns, make sure you comment down below. My um my email is in my bio. I don't know why I feel like praying, but I'm just going to prophesy over somebody right now in the name of Jesus. I don't know what any of y'all are really going through. But I know that, Father God, I pray that you speak to your people, Lord. Let them know that you love them. 
anybody that's going through health issues, anybody that's going through a breakup, anybody that's having issues in their finances, Father God. I pray that your hand be extended over them, God. I pray that they do what they are supposed to do in the name of Jesus, Lord. I pray that this doesn't fall on deaf ears, God. I pray that you open their heart, God. I rebuke Satan in all his wicked ways in the name of Jesus, God. We know that in the name of Jesus that every knee shall bow for the things in earth, for the things in heaven and under heaven, God. Nothing can stop what you have already done, God. Nothing can overcome your throne and can touch your children in the name of Jesus, God. I give you praise. I give you honor, Lord. Let anybody that's battling depressed or anxiety or anger issues or they just want to do right, God, but can't, God, I pray that you be a big factor in their life, God. I pray that you touch them, God. I pray that, that that you use people to come to them and help them, God, to touch them, God, and that you be the main the main one in their life, Father God. Let your people let your people live in the name of Jesus, God. So yeah, that's my word. I love y'all. I'm going to see y'all in the next video.